Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and today we're looking at Transformers Legacy United Voyager Class Origin Wheeljack from the part one arrival from Cybertron. That's if I got my history correct. And um, where Wheeljack has this massive orc mode. It's um, going to be interesting how this looks together, specifically in robot mode. So nice artwork on the side. 32 steps to transform him. And what on earth is that? That's interesting. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Okay. Be interesting to see that. Um, 32 steps transform, and then there is the side as well. So let's quite simply get him out of his packaging and have a closer look. Okay, as expected, this was always going to be a hard figure in robot mode to compensate for that that orb mode, which I'm probably more excited about the orb mode than the robot mode, because basically it, it looks like the Earth Rise mode in terms of how it looks. But you can imagine that's a Dulux figure and it's got a massive, massive backpack. The backpack is just weighing it down. So, and just to, just to add to it, they you can take the parts and add this on there, which makes it really even more harder to do um so just so you're aware it comes in with these pieces connected to this um for robot mode you want to sort of take them off and transform them around it took me i'm not going to say how long it took me to figure that out but it took me a little while to figure that out uh you've also got the the pieces that go on that alt mode as well and they just stick in the back there you can also take that and if you stay still, I mean, I feel like he's going to just fall over any time now. And it literally, with the gun, you can literally put that on there like that, um, which is cool. I think I think that's pretty cool. And this just looks like a miniature um, of the the gun that ends up on the Earthrise figure, which I think is quite cool. That it is sort of like a similar look. So I feel like I feel like that's pretty decent. You can add that on there as well. So in any port, so it could be sort of like this, which is pretty decent. Um, so, okay, just looking at the detail, he has some really nice sky blue eyes in there. I think it's a bit difficult for me to get that on camera, but it is there. Beautiful detail all throughout the body as well. You got the nice Autobot Sigma there, which looks great. The nice see-through piece here, which I think is awesome. And then just the detail throughout the nice gray and the white all the way around. Now, another part, because of the transformation, his legs are quite heavy as well. So even though I think it's quite cool to try and hold the, keep the backpack on, you got this massive piece here as well. And then around to the, the back in this pit just drops whenever it wants, etc. So um, you can put the gun back there as well, if you like. If you really want um i do apologize there's lots of rain coming down um outside my window so um if you're hearing lots of uh noise maybe it's a nice noise i don't know um i've never been um, bothered by the sound of rain so um yeah so the legs do suffer from this and as you can imagine articulation is going to be restricted so he has a nice movement on the head you can look up and down the head can go around like so, but you cannot get it past the backpack. Nice lift up there, single on the elbow. And then uh, you have the nice uh, swivel on the waist as well. He can do the splits. He does have a swivel on the thigh as well. He does have a single there. So the, they've done really well for articulation considering as well. They have uh, tried to give this a, a really good job here, etc. So um, there he is in uh, his robot mode. Um, so I think the most important thing about this figure and what we want to see is we want to see that orb mode. That's why I brought this figure is for this orb mode. Um, now, the disappointing thing with me is obviously I don't have Bumblebee and I do not have, um, unfortunately, Jazz to show them against. But I'm sure there's lots of reviewers out there that will have them and can uh, show how that works. Okay, so here is Will Jack in <clears throat> his art mode, which is what I think we really wanted to see. The transformation actually isn't as bad as when I looked at one point. I really didn't actually read the instructions. Um, I looked at them and I, I, I think in my mind, I thought, whoa, that's really confusing. And I just started opening things up and then 
everything started connecting together. So I think I have transformed it correctly. And, you know, it's perfect. It's got some some um, alien stuff there. I'm not sure if that's meant to be sort of Ryan or whether that's meant to be lights. I'm not really sure. It's got a little weird sort of hole there, which um, I'm, I can't remember in the show. It's been a while since I've watched that first episode. You got this massive bumper, which I'm not going to say looks the most prettiest thing, but it achieves what it achieves. And then you can turn it around. Now you do have this back piece um, very quite very easily if I just gently lift that up you can gently bring that down and the idea is that I'm not sure how you get that bumblebee figure in there and let's be honest when they create that bumblebee or when they create this they must have been thinking right how do we achieve that etc so nice bit of space in there and if you want can you do this can I do this no nope. I was going to just shove that in there as, a, as a, perhaps a point of reference. Maybe that was a bad idea. And then you can bring that back down very nicely. And I've done that completely the wrong way. Oh my goodness. Right. Don't fall apart, please. Don't fall apart. Come on. We're doing things on camera. We don't like doing things on camera like this because we make a mess of it. Right. There we go. Right. We've sort of got that together. There we go. Right. So let's get on to the weapons. So you can stick the gun on there. Which actually, as this is a Cybertronia mode, I welcome guns that can go on toys. And then, very carefully, I'm going to see if I can do this. That's a good start, isn't it? Always good start when these things pop down. Make sure I've got my angles right. I think I've actually got that. I may have got that wrong. One sec. Uh, apologies I configured it wrong so very simple you can drop that over there and that acts as if I remember correctly the shield where he would had um, fire surrounding him and Bumblebee and then the little jets that go on the front like so is that how it goes like that, like that. there we go and we have it we have a uh, that mode where he's got to, these things turn around and plow through the fire, etc. So, um, yeah, I think they've done a, a quality job with this. I really do. And to, for me, it's all about the art mode. The the uh, robot mode is just, it is what it is. You know, it, it was always going to be a difficult thing to pull off for anyone. But this looks fantastic. I absolutely adore this. Um, I'm not sure about the price point. I feel it comes with everything, but... The price point, I think, uh, it is steep. This was, um, I got mine from In Demand Toys, and it was over 30 quid. So, from that perspective, I think, um, you know, you could perhaps argue it was um, not a cheap uh, figure to get. But, um, hey-ho, it is what it is. Uh, one thing I'll say, just be careful with this Perspex, because um, I sense you could perhaps strain it quite quickly, because there is multiple changes with it etc um but the other thing that they say that you can do you can put that on there like so does that connect like that hmm have i done that wrong uh you just you could put that on there if you like it looks like there's a connect point but i can't see it so you can do that as well so there we have it um will jack in all his glory so um, if you like my review, please support my channel by subscribing. Thank you for uh, taking the time to watch my video. Uh, thank you to those already subscribed to my channel. Make sure you look after yourself and as always, embrace geekiness. Take care. Goodbye.